Hi, I'm Klaus from Guitar Habits and today we're gonna learn the G major scale in the second position or also referred to as the D shape. So what do you want? <laughs> Sorry for my voice but uh, I had a rough night. I just lost my voice a couple of days ago. I don't know. But uh, anyways, um, why do you want to learn that scale in other positions? Because you want to be able to uh, have the knowledge but also you want to learn to solo um, over the entire neck not just in one position you got the G major scale right here in the first position now you want to go up here to the second position of the neck so you have all the freedom and all the possibilities of what you can do with the solo so and there are other uh, reasons we go into that later on um, but let's check it out let's uh, do a close-up so I'm first gonna play the second position or also the D position. Here we go. And in the previous lesson we uh, had the first position. If you missed that, go back to the first lesson of the G major scale series. And that's what we call the first position or the E shape. Uh, e shape. So, and this is the second position, and also called the D shape position. Uh, D shape and D shape has nothing to do with the key. So we're now playing in the key of G, G major scale. So they're both G major scales, and the D shape has. Uh, it has to do that all the notes that the chord and all the notes of the D chord are just they are all located into that uh, shape C. So this is the D shape. You see, it's all formed into that shape. And with the first position, I forgot to mention that earlier in the first lesson. This is the E shape chord. You see. All the notes of the E shape, including the bar, is they're all not uh, yeah, just the E chord. They're all located in that E shape. So, but uh, to make it more simple, first position, second position. So let's go into that. We start off with the first note. The first note here. Is located on the D string fifth fret and you start off that is a G note right there so G major scale starting with the G note it's the root note of your scale so first fret uh, sorry fifth fret D string and then seventh fret D string with your second finger and four finger and we move on to the G string we go four five seven with your first second and third, a uh, fourth finger, and we go to the B string, fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, with your first, your third, and your fourth finger. That positioning of your fingers is really important, so don't miss that. And we move on to the high E string, fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret, again with your first, third, and fourth finger. So we got this. From the top, five seven G string four five seven B string five seven eight high E string five seven eight. And um, don't forget to use alternate picking. I also mentioned it in the previous lesson of the first G major scale. So you go. With your pick, you go down, up, using alternate picking. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And once you here, once you're here on the A fret, we go back again. So your last note was eight on the high E string, and then we go back to seven, five, and then B string, eight, seven. 5 G string 7 5 4 D string 7 
five, and now four. We go to the A string, seven, five, with your third and first finger. And then on the low E string, eight, seven, five, with your fourth, third, and first finger. And we go up again, seven, eight, to the A string, five, seven, and finally on the D string, four, five, with your first and second finger. So you're actually playing like two major scales, but you're starting here on the root note because here your root note is on the D string, fifth fret, and you're playing G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and then you go all the way. You want to have all the notes of all the six strings. You, we have six strings. We have a guitar, it has six strings. So you want to be able to play the notes of the G major scale, which are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. You want to play that all the way up to the high E string and lower on the lower regions, the D, M, A in lower E string. So we just we go here. Well, we go beyond. Those notes are also in the G. The, so the real G major scale is like from here to there. It's Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Nati, Do. But we go beyond and then go back. And you finish here again, but we go lower now. Because we want all the notes that are located on all six strings, but all fall into this position right here. So that's why you want to have those notes. When you read a, um, a G major scale second position or D shape on a diagram, uh, it's really confusing but because you see the notes are starting here and you think that, hey, your mind's going, but that's an A note. So you see it like this. You wanna, you have to see it like starting on the root note. That's why it's uh, always pointed with a red dot. So you know that's where you have to start. Okay. And just play it slowly, fast as go is, is later. Really make each note sound crystal clear. Just play slow. You only learn to play fast when you start out learning to play slow and make each note count. So important. And each finger on the right position. Okay, again, alternate picking all the way up and all the way down. Um, practice that as much as you can. And with that, once you've memorized it, also don't forget to practice the first position. Ascending and descending again, and then the other. So you don't want to forget, you want to learn all those positions. Okay, once you're a little bit comfortable with that, once you've memorized all the notes, try to see the shape of the notes. Don't um, memorize 5th fret, 7th fret, 4th fret, because uh, later on I will talk about that, but you can um, play this second position, you can also do it to the first position, you can play it in any key you like, you can move this scale up and down, so you want to memorize the shape, for example, here we got this, let's talk about the second position, this is a G major scale. If you move all those notes up a whole step, so two frets up the neck, you play exactly the same shape. It's exactly the same shape. All notes are going up two frets. Now you're playing in the key of A because you're two frets up. You go G, G sharp, A. You can do that, you can do it 
going up. If you go up again, you got uh, and you play all those a half step up. So one fret up, you got. Uh, I was like uh, G A. You got A sharp, uh, and and so on and so on. You can uh, if you move it down. So here is G major scale. If we move the scale down a whole step two frets, we get an F G major scale. Uh, sorry. Um, so you have one position G major scale and you can move it all the way up and down next. So you have all 12 keys just with one scale. Okay, now that is out of the way. Um, so it's important to learn to visualize the shape what you're playing and not focus on the frets. You want to really see how it is formed, this position. And then it's easier to move it up or move it down the neck. Um, another thing, once you are comfortable with that, try to play the scale with one finger. So because your mind is used to playing it with three or four fingers. You want to learn it with one finger. So you go. You will see the first time you do that, your mind is going, hey, what's wrong here? I, I don't know the notes anymore. Uh, so you really got to learn that with one finger. And once you can do that, you can also, nice exercise, Try to do it uh, an exercise with two fingers. It goes like this. soloing you're not always soloing um, in position you're not always soloing with four fingers let's give me an example if you if you start making some melodies within the scale I'm really playing in position Sometimes you want to not play in position, you want to play like this. You want to make a slide, you want to use a pull-off, a hammer-on, a pull-off, slide. And if you slide, you go with your first finger. You can't do a slide using uh, positioning, that doesn't work. And then hammer-on. Be comfortable with playing in position. You really gotta nail that one. So that's the most important. And then, first finger, you just play the scale with one finger and optionally, like with two fingers. It's an extra exercise. And, uh, and rem try to memorize the notes. So we start on a G and then we got A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and go back all the way up, down, and what, until you reach that G note again. Okay, so second position uh, summary. Learn second position. Um, D shape. It's in a D shape. Use alternate picking. Learn it with four fingers, and then one finger. Memorize the notes and extra exercise with two fingers. Uh, it's optionally. And uh, don't forget to come back to that first position. You really got to first learn the first position. And then when you're comfortable with that, you move on to the second position. So thanks for watching again.
I hope you really uh, go into that. So learning those positions really well, nice and slow. Really take your time with this. It takes it takes time to really memorize and get comfortable with playing those scales. I had the same thing. It really it's not just that uh, practice in one day and you have it. It really takes time. So, um, but keep practice. Keep it up. Playing your songs and 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 your licks and everything you love, and then but also try to play those scales. It seems boring, but it's so important and you will benefit, really benefit from it. So um, if you like this lesson, please uh, tell me in the comments. I really uh, like uh, reading those comments and uh, I always reply. And um, subscribe if you like this and uh, we see you in the next lesson. Bye.